Hi guys, good evening, good evening. Yeah, welcome back to another time of prayer. This is Saturday night, this is 10 p.m. GMT plus one, and it's always a privilege to have you around um in our weekly prayer meetings as we seek to um institute the will of God upon the surface of the earth, upon our uh, upon the sphere of our lives, upon our community, our country, and you know, you know, having God's will made manifest in our space. That's what prayer is all about because we understand that you know man has been given the the the, the legal right upon the face of the earth that means that god cannot do anything unless a man permits do you understand so that's why the scripture will say in um, ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 he said and i sought for a man that will stand in the gap that would you know that will fill up the hedge and stand in the gap so god was seeking for a man god wanted something to be done upon the uh, upon the atrium but he needed a man to stand in the gap he needed a man to pray little one that jesus said men ought always to pray and not to faint he understood the the, the dominion mandate that man has he understood that it takes it takes a man to um to make sure that the will of god is done upon the atrium so that's why jesus will say when you want to pray pray let thy kingdom come do you understand so he was saying prayer is a channel for the institutionalizing of the kingdom of God upon the atrium. He said, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It means that if there is no man to pray, the will of God will not be done in, in um, upon the earth. He said, the heavens, Psalm 115 verse 16, the heavens, even the heaven of heavens is the Lord's, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. The earth has he given to the sons of men. So you must come to this, you know, consciousness, this awareness. That is what will propel you to pray. When you don't feel like praying, you know, this consciousness will, will, will drive you to the place of prayer. Because you know that if you don't pray, you are changing the will of God upon the earth. If you don't pray, you are saying, God, I don't want your will to be done in my life, in my space, in my country, in my family. You understand that prayer is a necessity. Prayer is something that you must do. So this is the understanding that drives us in the place of prayer. When you understand that, you know, you know, there is a responsibility upon your shoulders that God has given unto us as men. Because when, when God created man, when he created Adam in, in Genesis chapter 1, he said, and he created them and, and said, let them have dominion over the earth. Let them have dominion. He, 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 God did not say, let us, let me and man. He said, let them, let men have dominion upon the earth. That means God created the earth and, and, and handed it over to us as it were. It means that anything we allow will be allowed upon the earth. Anything we disallow will be disallowed upon the earth. Do you understand? That is the, the kind of responsibility that God has given to us. And we must not fail God. We must not fail God. Can you just go wide and say, Lord, help me. Help me that I will not fail in this responsibility. Help me to take on this mantle of prayer in the name of Jesus. This responsibility of prayer. Help me to open help me oh god help me oh god you know it was jesus that was speaking he says is it not written that my house shall be called the house of prayer unto all nations the house of prayer for all nations it is written my house my house you are the house of the lord you are the temple of the living god therefore jesus was saying that you are meant to be a house of prayer unto all nations a house of prayer institutional you know you know instituting the the, the the kingdom of god unto all nations a house of prayer to all nations in omaland the russeveritalia help us oh holy ghost jekante libaravalata are you praying tonight generous evelete in copele russeveleta in tobe kailo risoda varata minino sezi veletala we are here once again oh god let your spirit lay hold upon 
Zamozize, Resu de Veretala, Inco Bele Meshantolo Baha, Resono Bele Varahadia Sondo Velete, Inco Bene Mento Silla Combarandile Dovre Nekete, Reprovele Ne Magenda Lombre Veleta, Once again, Mantene Suneva, Let the Spirit of Prayer, Resunia, Rest upon me, E Companies in Soto Ventelete, E Shokotolo Baraville Tono Barata, E Resuso Velete, Inco Pele no jetula ingo paramne redu vele naha e pela sune genaha bele no jenaha I may have wandered over Lord I am returning I am coming back to the place of prayer I am returning ha ende le dosen de paravine tola reprende vele no skani vele no ja e resono vele na Lord even in this time oh in this season oh bele sune ne jina no rika ne resune Bella Kwanakada. Let me let me take on my position as a priest. Let me lay hold of my priesthood. Ele sune kade dende le toje de rusa valata ha. Impele no jena kompara ni vele na ha. Raise me up, O God. Rente malanosia by your spirit. Strengthen me by the Holy Ghost. I want to be the priest between the altar and the porch. In the name of Jesus. Entono malatalia. Weeping an institute. Instituting your will upon the landscape of the earth. E resu de le le no. Je ge de ge de ge de le. Ro pre de ge de lo su no marata. E le rusia varam te le no se te le na ha. Oh Jesus. Help us oh God. Help us oh God. Bakande le paragadesha ha. In the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen and amen. You know that was just a a a. A spontaneous outcry you know that the Holy Ghost I believe wanted us to um, to engage to engage to engage to engage because it's important that you know every believer every Christian we will take on this mantle of prayer it is the you know you know prayer is not for a selected few is it is something that every person every person called a man must ensure that he is involved in he said Men ought always to pray because without prayer you cannot give you know you know you cannot you cannot bring God into into the, the affairs of men without prayer you can't bring God into the heart to intervene do you understand so tonight we'll be continuing from where um um my wife started the prayer last week um spiritual warfare so we are going to be continuing in that in that dimension now um, Ephesians chapter 6, where she read last week, verse 12, he said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He said, We are not fighting. It means that, you know, Paul, from that statement, you could see that Paul was insinuating that we are fighting. He was insinuating that we are in a war. But he was letting us know that the warfare is not against human beings. It's not against flesh and blood. So the first thing that must come into your, into your consciousness is that we are in a war. We are in a war. We are in a war. Whether you believe it or not, whether you you are conscious of it or not, it does not take away the truth that we are in a war. Right from Genesis, you know, when God created Adam, he was he you know he began to to you know you know to um and point him in the, in the direction of warfare. He says, let um be fruitful, right? Multiply. He says, um, replenish the earth. He says, now says, subdue the earth. Be- before you can use that term, subdue, it means that there is an opposition in the earth realm. So he says, subdue the earth. So God was letting Adam know that, look man, you are going into warfare. Do you understand? Oh, Peruse Paranasia. So Apostle Paul was saying, for we are wrestling not against flesh and blood. He said, for we are wrestling against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness, against spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. Do you understand? So, so there is that understanding that you must have that you know you are in a war. But tonight I want to bring in another layer into your understanding. Because sometimes we think that we are in a war, ah, we are fighting, fighting the devil, you know, there is one big struggle, ah, the devil is a big devil and all of that. 
but the, the layer of understanding I want to bring to you tonight is that we are not fighting for victory. You know, my, my wife mentioned it last week, but I want to expand on it. We are not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory. What, what the, the only thing that we are doing is that we are, we are taking the victory that Jesus has wrought on the cross and, and, and bringing it into our space. Oh, mekami paradoshatalia. Now, let's go into the scriptures, you know, as we begin to pray. Um, the scripture I want to read tonight, you know, um, as I explain this further, is in the book of Colossians, right? Oh, shakate le presi falana candele deba. Colossians chapter 2. Remember, Apostle Paul said that we are, for we wrestle not, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and all of that. Now, look at what Colossians chapter 2 says. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 15. He says, talking about Jesus Christ, he said, And having spoiled principalities and powers, what did Paul say we are wrestling against? He said, We are wrestling against principalities and powers. So, Colossians 2 verse 15. He says, And having spoiled principalities and powers, he said, He made an open show of them. He said, Triumphing over them in it. What is the it? In the cross. So he said that Jesus. You know, spoiled. When you talk about spoiling, it means that um, um when you go for um when you go to war and you win the war, you spoil your enemy. What it means that you take possession of his goods, you spoil him in the sense that you've defeated him in battle and you now begin to take possession of the things that has been in his possession. So he said, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he said he made an open show of them. Not only did he spoil them, he made a public spectacle. For you to make a public spectacle of someone, it means that you are you are totally more powerful than he is. He said, triumphing over them in the cross. That means that the principalities that Paul said that we are we are up against, the past that we are up against has been they have been dealt with by Jesus on the cross of Calvary. They have been dealt with. They have been dealt with. Daliswa, the candelia, Jekosia, Jesus has won the victory on the cross. So what are we expected to do? To uh, bring that victory that Jesus has wrought on the cross and bring it into our space, into our circumstances, into our nation, into what we are praying about. You know, you are going on Menekalia because the devil only rules based on ignorance. Or, or based on lack of legislation by the sons of God. So that is the only time that the devil reigns or rules upon the earth. When the people are in ignorance, he says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So when the people, the sons of God are in ignorance, the devil will rule based on their ignorance. Or when they are not taking their, their place in the court of law, as it were, they are not they are not legislating in the court, the devil would override them. Do you understand? But that does not mean that Jesus had not wrought the victory. He has. He has. Now, moving ahead, I'm going to show you something that would that would you know that would you know also drive home the point I'm bringing. That the devil is not a it is not a, a big devil. For you to be scared of and you know like oh the devil devil bad devil big devil no now sometimes i've said this over and over again and i'm going to say it again sometimes we we, we begin to equate satan and god we are like oh the opposite of god is satan no the opposite of god is not it is not satan no it's not now satan was created as an angel you know his first estate was you know he was an angel that deviated from his place from his position from him from his place so he was cast out he was cast down so the devil was created an angel and who do, um, who, um, who do 
um, what do scripture describe angels as? Who are angels? He says, um, Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14. He says, Are there not talking about angels? He said, Are there not all ministering spirits? He says, Send forth to minister to them who shall be the heirs of salvation. It means that the angels were created to minister to us. It means that if when you talk about ministry, we are talking about you know, you know, you know, service them seven man serving them that are the heads of salvation do you understand so angels were created to serve man it means that angels if angels were created by god they cannot be equal to god they 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 they, they, they created cannot be equal to the creator right so that's number one number two is that angels were created to serve men it means that they are not equal to man even so angels are not equal to man they are lower than man okay let us do you understand where we are driving to tonight so the the devil is not even equal to man he is below man and now he is now a a, a demoted angel so that means he's way down the ladder he is way down the ladder are you understanding? So as we go into prayer tonight, you are going in with the consciousness that the devil is defeated and that he's not equal to you. Oh, Jesus, what I'm speaking in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 17 or verse 19, he says, And I beheld Satan fall like lightning. I say, And I beheld Satan fall like lightning. Fall like lightning. Fall like lightning. He is a defeated foe. Oh, Genepella and the Kailo Fresi Etia. That is when, 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 when you begin to say things in your life not going according to the will of God. You need to get angry in your spirit against the devil. You are like, what is this? So there must be a holy anger in you for you to be able to come against the workings of the devil in your life. If you do not understand these things, if you have not come to a place of awareness that this, this, this devil we are talking about is not as strong as he, as he, as he presents himself to be. It's just like, it's just like um, if, you have, um, if you have a property for example, and then let's say you have um, a television set and then you have this small child in the, in the neighborhood that says I'm going to deal with you, I'm going to take your television set and you are not going to do anything about it. How, will you, how would you respond? This is a child. Do you understand? This is a child. That's why the scripture will say he that sits upon the throne shall laugh. When God begins to hear what the devil is planning to do, he said it has in the book of Psalm chapter 2. You can read it. He said he said that the the, 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 the kings of the earth they, they take counsel together, saying, Let us break up the, their cause, let us break um, let us remove their restrictions. He said, He that sits upon the throne shall laugh. When you are looking down at somebody and you know this person is not up to you, you will laugh. So when the devil, you know, is beginning to raise up his head, you laugh. You do not go into fear. You laugh at the devil. <laughs> hey, because you know that with your word, you will deal with him. You will put him in his place. So tonight, we are going to be praying in the next couple of minutes. We are going to be praying, but we are going to start with worship. You know, I always, you know, love, you know, worshiping, worshiping. Psalm chapter, but because of our time, we'll, 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 so just engage quick, engage quick. Don't put, you don't need to put. Psalm chapter 99. Psalm chapter 99. Psalm chapter 99. Shebele kale paranasia, endo fele teli parakande. So, so friend and on top of and Kabbalah. Psalm chapter 99 from verse 1. He says, The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He seated between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. <laughs> the Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. He said, The Lord reigns, let the people tremble. He said, He sits in between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. 
that is the God that we are serving. That is our Father. That is who our Father is. So can you begin to worship Him that dwells in between the cherubim? He, 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 he is high and He is lifted up. He is exalted above all the people. He is exalted above every circumstance. He is exalted above every issue. He is exalted above every situation. He is exalted above every devil. He is exalted above all things. Lord, we say you are God and you are good. You are high and you are mighty. You are exalted above the nations. You are exalted above our situations. You are exalted above our circumstances. We bow before you. We cast our crowns and we bow before your royal majesty. You are the king of kings and the lord of lords. Sute ekute egana, jekute le barus everene, reprove le nesie tonove, ege gus inse no teleba, bereshune eri esune, reprove le ne esune agaga enosia, reprove le isono, ege gunt en gindos enne, le parano sha. Jesus, we thank you. We give you all the praise for you take rulership over the earth. Oh, Jena Dele Kombaru Severinetaha. We thank you for you are God all by yourself. And the Le Comparafisolo Veleta. Be thou exalted, Father. Be thou exalted, a shadow of Israel. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Amen and amen. Next point, we are going to be praying from Exodus chapter 12 and verse 12. You know, when, when you want to deal with circumstances, you go spiritual. You deal with the spiritual entities first before the physical can begin to align. Because you know that it is the devil that is behind the scene. You don't just deal with the fruits, you deal with the root of the tree. Do you understand? So Exodus chapter 12 and verse 12, this was God speaking. He said, I'm going to deal with the gods of Israel, with the gods of, um, of Egypt rather. He says, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and we smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. So before now, God has been doing some things. He has been doing miracles, signs, you know, the plagues of Egypt and all of that. Yet, Pharaoh did not allow the people to go. Do you understand? So God was just playing around with him. Do you understand? When God had finished playing around, he said, I will deal, I will smite the firstborn. No, that was the last plague. And then I'm going to judge the gods of Egypt. Now, after the judgment of the gods of Egypt, Pharaoh lets Israel go. Do you understand? So, for your circumstance, you are going to be judging the spirits behind those circumstances. You are going to be judging the spirit behind those circumstances. Psalm chapter 97 and verse 3 says, A fire goeth before him, talking about God, and consumes his foes, his enemies on every side. So there is the consuming fire of God that bonds that consumes his enemies so we are going to be placing judgment upon the spiritual forces of wickedness acting in your life acting in my life acting in our nation acting in the church we are going to be judging this demonic spirit we are going to be taking it from the from the spiritual realm and 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 bringing the judgment to the spirit behind these activities, uh, behind the circumstances in your life. Uh, you know those circumstances, uh, you know this, those situations, uh, you are going to be saying in the name of Jesus, uh, I judge the spirit behind so, so and so. In the name of Jesus, can you just go ahead uh, and begin to bring judgment? Uh, he says this is the privilege that God has given the, 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 his sons, uh, that they will execute the writ 
executing judgment. Can you begin to execute judgment? Para suse egegede, reduce ezivele noja, reprovelete ezunekede, ebele noja against the spirit of lust, against the spirit of ill health, against the spirit of poverty. Berosile enoguande, jekute de mana, against the spirit of confession, against the spirit of near success, and suse egede, robeleveleta, against the spirit behind family issues. Family challenges are a leno shananta resune varana kayata peleli soto frenga la noja. You are gathering, it seems as though you are not gathering. There is nothing to present for air for your labors and for your efforts. It's as though they are leaking out from the back door. Can you join the spirit against loss in Kobelena resude valania? The spirit of lust of loss. Can you bring judgment? Belarus and Senuguana. Jeketele Marusia, Resude Velena, you are Sune Bele Guntenania, not in my life. He says, Resist the devil and he will flee. Can you begin to bring resistance to the enemy in the name of Jesus? He will not have a place in your life any longer. He will not have a place in your life any longer. When you resist, he will flee. He will not have a place in your life any longer. He will not have a place in your marriage any longer. Oh, Jene Meleta, he has been. In turmoil, one problem to another in your marriage, in your family, you are saying no more. I rebuke you. Devil, I rebuke you, spirit, in you know, you know, sponsoring this, 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 this things in my family, in my marriage, in the name of Jesus. I say no more. It's as though your child, you know. He, 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 is going wayward. You must soon make Canada in Bethesda. Can you say I judge the spirit behind that activity in that my child in the name of Jesus? Me resuse egemato reprove le nos in sonata igeno jekana. It's as though there is a covering, there is a veil veiling you in the spiritual realm. No person is looking at you as a lady. No man the sune egeme jekute the man. Your relationships are failing up. Resude Velana, Ecopelena, Eshanus, and Sino Palawa, Resune Beleguada, Encopenana. Can you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I execute judgment right now against the spirit sponsoring that activity in my life? And a Perez Calibo, Mesoilante, Jeca, the Rusiva Rantebe, Bele Compe, Vin Rusila, Redelono Silo Varam Telemono, and Tomono Fenguala Grandi Severata, Bele Nemashen de Rusavarata, Elele Nosi Everendo Varam de Lenemoa, Ine de la Gute Velataya, Mele de Mejen de la Marada Valata, El Resune Velate Velataya, Inco Pene Veleno Generendo Varam de Letona, Resole Pela Vonteneme. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, look, 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 you know, the scripture talking about our warfare in the book of Revelation chapter 12, it says that there was war in heaven. So even in heaven, there was war. Any place that the devil is, you know, it takes warfare to displace him. He said the end and the Michael and his angels, you know, battled against the dragon and his angels. He says, and there was no, and the devil was defeated. He was defeated. He said, and then he was cast down into the earth. And he said there was there, there was no more place found for him in heaven. So before the devil can you know can live, can cease to have a place in your life, you must cast him out. You must cast him out. You must cast him out. And if the devil has a place in your life, forget it. He says, I have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That is his mandate. So any place he has a place in, those are the things he will execute. He will steal, he will kill, he will destroy. Finally, we are going to be uprooting. The scripture says in the book of Matthew chapter 15, and verse 13 he said whatsoever my father has not planted shall be uprooted can you begin right now to uproot anything 
any and everything that is not of God, that is not the planting of God in your life, anything that does not represent the will of God, it is not God's planting. Can you begin to say in the name of Jesus, I uproot anything? Yeah, you can mention them by name. You know those things. Those things that are in your life, rearing up their, 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 their rearing up their ugly heads. Can you begin to say in the name of Jesus, I uproot this barrenness. Huh? I uproot this fruitlessness. In Sone Belaha, Jekus Enya, I uproot this backwardness. In Sonoma, I uproot this lack of speed. Huh? This lack of favor. Jekude Ikamano, Resule Varamnia, Lesuse I approved this series of sickness. You know, it was like a cycle of sickness from one to the uh, to the other, from one to the other. Can you say in the name of Jesus? I approved you now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you? extend this prayer to your local assembly to the church you are worshiping in and say whatsoever that is not the plantings of the lord that is beginning to manifest in in the church, I uproot it now in the name of Jesus. I declare per ons esiete le rusie kalate me rusiveleta. There is the sanitization of the church in the name of Jesus. Every planting that is not of God is uprooted in the church. In the name of Jesus, uh, can you extend it finally to the nation? Le parantish and tokopeleta. Can you stand as a priest, uh, as a warrior over over your nation and say in the name of Jesus, I begin to uproot every planting of the enemy in my country, in my nation. I declare no more. In the name of Jesus, they are uprooted. They are uprooted. Only the plantings of the Lord are made manifest. Uh, in the name of Jesus, only the plantings of my Father are made manifest. Only the plantings of my Father are made manifest in the name of Jesus. And I declare over you tonight, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the devourer in your life. I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. I say no more. Every form of affliction, no more, in the name of Jesus. I declare you are made free. He say, He that the Son has set free is totally and is truly free indeed. I declare your liberty right now from every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus, you have been held down. I declare you go up. In the name of Jesus, you have been held down. I declare you go up. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your liberty is now you have been in a cage i declare you are set free you make progress you advance you increase you become great in the name of jesus your body is not the habitation of sickness in the name of jesus i declare purity of your body i declare most in here you have clarity of vision in the name of Jesus, the wisdom of the Lord comes upon you. In Tenor Shetha, you know what to do at this time of your life. In the name of Jesus, for you, you are wondering, what is it that God wants me to do in this season, in this time of my life? I declare that the Lord opens your eyes to see what He wants you to do, to see what He would have you do. You are not confused. I clear that confusion. I lift up that veil in the name of Jesus. The light of God shines upon you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you very much for joining tonight. Um, God bless you. Um, you can you can keep praying. You know the circumstances in your life or in your family. You know you can keep praying till you are you 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 are released by the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Spirit. Make declarations. You know. Oh, Peranisha. For someone, you need to take yourself out of the family system in the Spirit. Out of the family. Sorry. Out of the family flow. There is a flow and the flow is negative. 
there is a flow and the flow and the flow is negative there is a flow in your family and the flow is negative god is saying you need to take yourself out of the family system in the spirit realm if not you will not make progress deal with that tonight there is grace in the house thank you for joining thank you very much and do have a lovely night rest bye Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-